What's up guys, Brandon Razor here with another tech video for you guys today. And today we take a quick look at the OtterBox Defender Series case for the all new 9.7 inch iPad Pro. So of course without further ado, let's slice this open, slap it on the iPad and give you guys my quick in-depth review. The case comes in your standard plastic OtterBox packaging here and to pop it open, it's a little tab on the top here. And sliding this out. First thing we get, of course, is the case itself. So as a stand for it, limited warranty information and instruction guide on how to use the case. So popping the protective cover off, which also acts as a stand, which I'll show you guys later in this video, we have the Defender case itself in black. And I believe right now it's only available in black as well as a pink model. Let's take a look at the design of the case before we slap on the iPad. Obviously, just like the past Defender cases for many iDevices, this still retains that hybrid polycarbonate and silicone design. You can see on the interior here, there's also foam padding to protect the back of the iPad when you put it in. But anywho, we're going to slap the iPad in. And since I've done so many reviews on the Defender case, I doubt you guys want to see me install through this for another minute. So without the further ado, we got the iPad fully installed and ready to go. Since my last review of an OtterBox Defender for the iPad, which was the iPad Mini, OtterBox did redesign the OtterBox Defender case here to be a little more streamlined as well as just as protective. Taking a quick overview of the case and what it has to offer starting off with the front here, the nice thing about these cases is that they have a built-in screen protector already, so for those of you who don't have a screen protector on, it's nice that it already comes with one. The front also features coverage around the borders here with the silicone as well as the polycarbonate border. The Touch ID button on the bottom here is covered but still accessible and does work thanks to this unique film material. On the top here, you also have an opening for the face sign camera, two cutouts for the light sensors. On the top end button, you do have cutouts for the four stereo speakers, a cover for the 3.5mm headphone jack, covers for the power button as well as your volume rockers, and you still get a nice tactile feedback when you press on them. So have a cover for the lightning port as well. And of course you have a nice cutout as well as a protector covering the back of the Apple logo here to give that iPad look. Overall guys, the first impressions on the Defender case for the new 9.7 inch iPad Pro is very positive. Although the Defender series case from OtterBox is considered their bulkier style cases, even though it is a bulky style case, it definitely keeps a slim form factor in terms of the overall design and look of it. The nice thing about the Defender case is that it gives you 360 degree drop protection, scratch protection, as well as dust protection. OtterBox does also include this protective cover that actually protects the front of the iPad screen here from more impacts, such as rocks and stuff, which a standard screen protector won't protect, whereas this hard plastic will certainly will. The other unique thing about this cover is that it also acts as a stand. You can place it in a movie viewing mode, as well as a workable mode for typing or just doing productive work. In terms of any cause or things I don't like about the Defender case for the iPad Pro, it's not the most fun case to take on and off, but nonetheless, if you're putting this amount of protection on your iPad, you probably don't want to take it off anyway. In conclusion guys, I definitely recommend the new OtterBox Defender case for the iPad Pro. Every year they improve their cases to be slimmer and just as protective, and the new 9.7 inch model for the iPad Pro is certainly no exception to that. Anyway, thanks for watching guys, hope you all enjoyed the video, and as always, I have to thank OtterBox for shooting this out for review. Hit that like button as always helps me out, and I'll see you on the next video.